Welcome back to Indianomics. In this post monetary policy special, we are discussing whether there were nuances in the Reserve Bank's commentary which indicated that it's kind of loosening up its fight against inflation. It lowered its neutral rate. Uh, the second thing that the Reserve Bank did is that uh, it said the 4% inflation target for January 2018 no longer exists because the government has given the MPC and the Reserve Bank just an overall target of 4% plus or minus 2% for the next five years. Well, that question now. Uh, Sonal Verma, uh, yes, it is a, you know, a five-year target, but the target is still 4%. Uh, was the Reserve Bank right in saying that it has no 4% target or that it cannot keep that target? Does not the central bank have actually the responsibility to fix 4% at some point in time, either in 2021 or the midpoint of the five years? Can it give up 4% altogether? I mean, technically, the Reserve Bank is right. Uh, that's the mandate that they've got. It's 4 plus minus 2. Uh, so it, the 4% was a self-imposed target, which is now superseded. So technically, they're right. Um, now, the thing is that uh, 4 plus minus 2 is a very, very wide range. Uh, mm -hmm. And there is, uh, you know, no clarity uh, whether we are targeting an average of 4% for the next five years. Are we targeting 4% in one year, two years, in five years' time? Uh, because, you know, 4 plus minus 2 means 3% might be okay, even 5.8% CPI inflation might also be within the target, uh, you know, the mandated uh, range. So I think, you know, that clarity is definitely not there and is something that the MPC together uh, needs to communicate, uh, you know, it hasn't happened in the October yeah. policy. Uh, hopefully, in the December policy, there's a bit more clarity mm. uh, on, uh, on, you know, when do we intend to meet a 4% uh, uh, target. Uh, but, you know, the second point, it, and, you know, I'm sort of repeating what I said earlier. Yeah. Um, if you look at the policy reaction, mm. uh, in a t at a time where underlying inflation is closer to 5%, mm expectations have gone up. Mm. Uh, Reserve Bank of India expects growth to pick up. Mm. Uh, it is saying that it's brought basically interest rates, real interest rates closer to neutral now, which implies that they do not want uh, any additional disinflation uh, at this uh, stage. Present now, you know, if you keep a diffuse 6 to 2% uh, inflation over five years, uh, uh, how will you ever get to 4%? Is the Reserve Bank guilty of not fixing a, a, a date by which it will reach 4%? So, uh, I, I guess technically by the, by the letter of the law, I think they are right. It's 4 plus or minus 2. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but yes, I think in terms of uh, conducting policy and guiding markets, definitely I think it needs to be more precise than that. Mm -hmm. I think for, for this uh, argument purpose, we can forget about the 2%. I, I don't think mm -hmm. we are going anywhere near that. So it looks like, at least in the near term, we are looking at a 4 to 6% kind of a narrow band. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, uh, what, what is not clear is that permanently, like you said, for the next five years, it's a band. Mm -hmm. Or just because for the next one year, there are a lot of uncertainties, such as GST implementation, there's a pay commission which could lead to a technical rise in housing index. Mm -hmm. uh, because of these specific reasons, whether the RBI is, is or the MPC is saying that for the next one year we'll perhaps uh, concentrate on a band and beyond that we will focus on 4%. Mm -hmm. Again, unfortunately, I think there has been a bit of a communication gap as far as this policy was concerned. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, when the minutes come, we get more clarity and if not, uh, maybe by the December policy, I think this is a very important question which has to be addressed. Yes, we live in hope. It was not a communication gap, it was actually an absence of communication. Uh, you know, Sajid, my big fear is that the Reserve Bank and the MPC can always say that they are sticking to the letter of the law so long as they are under 6%. But the law clearly asks them to go to 4%. Should they not, uh, you know, at, at least give themselves a target of 4% mid-year between the five years? Probably 2019 uh, uh, is not that at least required of the MPC and the RBI. So, so there are two three points. Technically, it's not required, as has been said by Sonal and uh, Prasanna before. But l let's just look at what their forecasts are, right? Mm. What they point out is their intermediate target for next March, and they've used the word target is 5%. Mm. And in fact, you know, they have slight upside risks. Most of us believe the target will be undershot, so inflation will be below 5. Mm. So it's very unlikely that if they've got an intermediate target of 5%, that in the subsequent years they'll be comfortable with inflation above 5. So 5, in any case, in my view, is a ceiling, because that is 
their near term target. Number two, their own forecast for inflation for March 2018 has inflation coming down to 4.5%. So that's the context in which I look at this rate cut that they cut rates because the MPC believes inflation is going to be at 5 in March and coming down to 4.5. They've not, if their forecast had 5.5 the following um, March 2018 and then you cut rates, I can understand these questions coming up. But right now. No, the argument is not against cutting rates. Part. Now it's a, that, the argument is not against cutting rates. The no, argument no, but, is not but, giving but no, a I'm date by which you will reach 4% or even a year by which you will but, reach 4%. But, 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 yeah, but let's, uh, fair enough, but let's be pragmatic here. You know, we've all agreed that output gaps are negative. Uh, the, the fact is, if you were to give a date and say, you know, by March 2018, come what may, I'm going to be at 4%, that may well entail raising rates next year, right? Mm -hmm. To meet the letter of the law. Because as we said, underlying inflation is stuck at 5%. If you want to take it down to 4, you may have to raise rates next year. Now, in this economy, given where output gaps are, given where potential growth is, you know, do we really want to raise rates? So there is a trade-off here. The trade-off is you have to at some point get to 4%, maintain credibility, anchor expectations. On the other hand, you don't want to uh, lock yourself up in a corner where to meet that target, the sacrifice ratio is very high. So again, I think maybe it's a, it's a, it's a, we're making a mountain of a molehill. Yeah, the economy and the RBI have gone through a lot of pain over the last three years to, uh, to put the memory of that negative interest rates and double-digit inflation behind. Are exactly. we losing that exactly. fight? Are we easing up primarily when we should continue with the pressure? That was my question. Very quick, yes and no with all of you. Uh, uh, Prasanna, has the Reserve Bank uh, taken off its foot, just eased up on the fight against inflation? Oh, before I answer that question, there is one clarification. I yeah. think the, inter the inflation forecast in NPR is actually a staff forecast. It's not an MPC forecast. We're not sure about that. Yes. So we shouldn't confuse both yeah. uh, or rather can't conflate both. Okay. Now, to, in answer to your question, no, I don't think. I think uh, it's too much of an acquisition at this point of time. Okay. Uh, perhaps we have to give them two, three more meetings uh, to come to that conclusion. Okay, you're kinder than I am perhaps. Uh, Sonal? Uh, I mean, 4% uh, by March 18, of course, uh, you know, doesn't seem to be in sight anymore. So I, I think there are question marks on 4% at this uh, stage. Uh, I was hoping for a monosyllabic answer. Sajid, uh, uh, has, is the Reserve Bank a little less of an inflation fighting machine today than it was a year ago? I don't believe so. I think the, I don't believe they've given up the fight on inflation. I think that's a premature to conclude from, from the last policy. All right, uh, I believe that that, uh, the uh, defer to the experts, they believe uh, uh, the Reserve Bank uh, has not necessarily given up the fight, though Sodal Verma clearly is despondent that that 4% mark uh, has been given up at least for now. And uh, I would be very much in Sonal Verma's camp that uh, both the reduction of the neutral rate and not giving us any time by which we will go down from 5% to some other number uh, is uh, an indication that the Reserve Bank's fight has reduced somewhat. Well, maybe they will, uh, uh, you know, give us a different picture in December. But up until December, that is my charge, at least, against the Reserve Bank. Thank you very much, uh, Sonal, Sajid, and Prasanna for joining me in this conversation.